that's the image is just standing there because we are pretty much exhausted at the moment it was a pretty long drive to Canberra I haven't driven that long in a while it was three hours like three hours on the dot and we got here like 20 minutes before like you know the so-called appointment time see how I prayed before I left there please like go oh, please just help me let them not waste my time yeah go here and Nigeria is being Nigeria this guy said they don't have any immigration person on ground like there's actually nobody to answer us not only that they do not have anybody on ground but if i said oh let him go and confirm our appointment i'm like what's your name he's like oh what's your name Adrian. i said yes Adrian. i told him my name my son name we went ahead to go and check to confirm whatever you know to, whatever he wanted to go and confirm came back inside and said that oh there's no appointment because they don't do appointments on Fridays only. I'm like, okay, so why was the um, on site, whatever, like, why could we see Friday there? It was clearly available, and that's why we picked Friday. So, why not telling us that you know there's no appointment on Fridays? What do you want us to do? Do you want us to drive, you know, drive and come? I can't come back here, it's too far. Do you get? And he's basically saying, you know, there's nothing he can do about it. Um, that even if, even if, like oh we didn't have an appointment i'm like we have an appointment it's not that we don't have an appointment we have an appointment we paid for this it was a hundred and six dollars to come and renew so it's not like we don't have an appointment we do we booked it online we booked it almost two weeks ago and we're here trying to do this and they're telling us that it's not possible because there's nobody the immigration officers are not on seat it's a flipping friday it is barely 12 o'clock it's still morning but these guys are not on seat so what i'm supposed to go back to sydney this is them what exactly i'm supposed to be doing right now so he's like oh let them confirm and come back let them confirm and come back usually they're supposed to give us your name you know we're parked outside yeah we're not going back to the premises we can't park in the premises and um, this area happens to have like other what's it called happens to have other um consulates so like it's just it's not just the nigerian embassy that is here or the nigerian high commission there are other ones in saudi arabia just beside us and like you know you get to pack inside that is easy there's a bit of hospitality but it's so cold and we're outside and i'm freezing and i'm just disappointed because i came here with very low expectations hoping that okay you know it's not so bad it's not as bad it's not as bad and they they did not even meet up to the low expectation they carry that same bad nigerian attitude and they brought it here i'm so angry and i'm like see i can't even say anything because now the major will say that she had told you that i've just done this in nigeria because this one's now like who wants to do this there's no other there's no other con like high commission this is the only one so it means that if we have to go and come back we have to do this trip again crazy crazy so not only like i'm so pissed like i'm i'm so pissed that i'm lost for words so it's not only that we can't find or they can't find my appointment my hair is acting up because i took off my wig while driving but like it's not only that they can't find our appointments but now even if they even find it, even if our appointment is valid, there is no immigration officer. What rubbish. Like, does that make sense? Such nonsense. There is no immigration officer to actually issue it or even take the picture or anything. See, uh, we need to work on representation wherever we are in, like, in the world. Because you can't carry the same stupid, nonchalant working attitude to another country. You know, everywhere else is working why 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 do we have this bad attitude like why why like i'm here i'm just standing here but like there's no point in standing because they're still going to come and tell me the same thing that there's nobody here that is going to help me so technically i have to go back to see me i have to do you know this fruitless drive six sleeping hours that's three hours to go three hours to come back 
just for free so uh, is it easy for fun like i left work for this <laughs> i didn't go to work today and i'm here and you know i'm very angry i don't know if it's obvious but i'm very angry this just seems fruitless but okay let's do this hi guys i'm trying to do this video pretty fast majorly because i have to go back inside but i am back again at the nigerian embassy <sighs> And you know, trying my luck the second time. I already know what happened the first time when I came here, and they basically told me that my application wasn't wasn't valid or something, or they were not here. You know, that whole racket. I ended up booking another you know, appointment. I mean, I ended up booking another appointment, and I'm back here again. Um, this time around, I made it inside. I was going to do a video before, but I made it inside. And the new thing now is, you know, they said drop your phones. They don't want you to take your phones inside. Um, I've been waiting for over an hour. My appointment was for 10.30. It's almost 12 o'clock at the moment. It's past 12, actually. And I haven't still been attended to. And at least if your phone was with you, you know, you'd be pressing something. You have something to press. But there's nothing to press at the moment. So I'm just, like, waiting it out, to be honest. Bored as hell. But thank God my friend Lola is here with me. We drove to camera together, which is a three-hour ride. Right? So it's not, like, it's no joke. You know, there's a flight, but I did not take flights anyhow i'm here now i have a headache i came to eat in the car and i was like you know let me quickly update you guys on what is happening at the moment so i'm gonna go back inside and hopefully they attend to me and i leave here before one o'clock or 1 30 i'm optimistic to be honest but let's see how this goes i'm going to let you know how the process goes i was going to take a video you know of you know getting here and going in but that did not work as planned <laughs> because of course they took the phone so um once i'm done i'm just going to narrate what went on inside if it's typical nigerian fashion and all the plus plus yeah so stay stay stick around stick around guys guess what came in the mail my international passport i'm super excited because i have been waiting for this for this return packet from you know um my whole application so i'm excited that's finally here yeah i'm just excited yay so i'm actually super excited that i've gotten this this return packet because it's like i go home and i was just like let me check the meal if i have you know if i have something or if it's sent to because i've been checking almost every day this is supposed to be express what's it called delivery so i'm supposed to get it the next day i paid for this but um in all fairness they already told me that it was going to take about 10 days 10 working days so i was kind of expecting that if i don't get it by the end of this week you know i'm going to call and you know i don't want to say wake up but like i was going to call and be like where is my passport and everything but anyhow super excited the thing is that when i actually applied or when i went to renew it they took my old passport and they kept it with them but I can see now that they actually sent both like the old one and the new one back. And somebody was telling me that if if the new if the old one had expired, they would hold on to it. So they wouldn't give you back the old one. Um I'm sure if you have like in the previous visas on it, maybe when you go for your renewal, you can tell them that you want it back. But um according to the person that did my capturing, he said that you know since I still have a couple of months on my old passport. He was going to return it back to me so that I don't know if I could keep using it. I'm not sure. But he just said he was going to return it back to me. Anyhow, but I'm excited that, you know, I have gotten this. As a COVID period, I had a friend that it took almost six months for her to get her passport because they said there was no paper. So I'm pretty, like, happy that my case wasn't going like that. But, like, moving from this, I think now that... I have gotten my passport. I can actually even talk about the whole process. I was waiting for my passport to come before I actually like put out this video or even like talk about like my whole process. <sighs> Firstly, renewing your passport shouldn't you know be stressful. And I think I went to the passport office with it. not a lot of expectations, but like I'm just like okay, if I put them here, then you know it doesn't really matter if they don't exceed it. But like it was it was very annoying it was it was very annoying the first time i went i made i made my appointment online please don't do that call them and book an appointment you know they'll ask you to send like an email send the email to them if they if you know if they require it their office is in canberra so the nigerian embassy is in canberra wherever you are in sydney whatever state you are in you know you can go by road there is bus 
um there's also flight a lot of people that are out of state basically fly from whichever state they are in um to the airport in canberra it's so much easier if you do that but if you're willing to take the drive the drive is about three hours from sydney and three hours back i did the drive twice it, it's not it's not i won't say it's not, it wasn't exciting because i went with you know friends I went with Dimitri the first time and then I went with my friend the next time so it was a bit exciting for me the first time it was just a long drive because I haven't driven that long for that far or whatever you know in a very long time and I think my idea of three hours is maybe three hours in traffic but this was not three hours in traffic this was three hours without traffic lights driving at the speed of 110 120 my legs were killing me throughout you know but let's remove the whole transportation process. So if you're trying to get there, you can go by bus. There's a bus from Parramatta that goes directly to Canberra. You can book a slot, you know. But one thing that they did was, my appointment was for 10.30 the second time. This is after I went for my appointment the first time and I went on a Friday. And apparently there's no immigration officer on, the, on Fridays and Mondays. So I think it's just Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And it was a bit annoying because after doing all that drive and getting there and then telling me that oh i don't have an appointment and if i did you know my name would have been on the list and it wasn't there and you know the major was even like you know call them we're already here and like well they don't pick up i've just like typical nigerian behavior but the second time i got there you know i think what struck me was they told us to drop our phones at the entrance in my mind i'm like why like why do we need to drop our phones at the entrance you don't want us to take pictures or take videos of what the place looks like you know so that kind of like ticked me off already because i'm just like why why are we dropping our phones really my appointment was for for 10 30. i didn't get attended to till one o'clock yeah like 1 30. so what they did was they kind of brought everybody like everybody's appointment there was for 10 30. so they made i'm just like why can't you just you know split the time and then it was one person he said there was somebody else you know assisting normally but then it was only one person that did so we all just waited in this conference room without our phones there was no water or anything but just sitting down there just waiting you know till it's your turn and it was a bit frustrating because i was just tired pending the, the, the issues that i already had with them i just told myself that you know what i'm just going to wait it out i'm just going to wait it out and not stress as much um but i'd like to give it up to the person actually did capture him even if you know they they had their own faults he tried to make it manageable for everybody and he was pretty much i don't know he was good he answered all the questions that i ha had um it kind of made everybody feel comfortable to some extent of course nigerians were going to complain that oh, this is not how you should treat us you know we're supposed to feel at home when we're here it's not as if it's nigeria where there are like a lot of people trying to renew while what were less than you know 20 it wasn't supposed to take that long basically so but um all in all i didn't have to shout um i did my capturing i gave all the information that i had to give and then i left and i came back home and they told me 10 working days and you know the 10 working days was actually 10 working days because my passport has arrived if you're trying to renew your passport in australia i'll just say you know go through the website um don't go by everything you see on the website please call them and find out like sometimes it might feel as if oh the, the website is descriptive already but i went through the website and did my initial booking and then they told me that the website was is is nigerian based very it's, it's silly like oh that's the information from nigeria that's not the information that we follow so i would say that what i would suggest that you actually call them get the information that you need from them because most times to book an appointment not most times for you to actually book an appointment for a renewal you would have to call them tell them what's you know what time you want and then they will book you in for which one they're available for do you get you suggest that well, i'm available on this date this date this date and then they'll pick one for you or you know within the time frame sharp so anyhow um if you manage to stay to the end of this video thank you for staying to the end of this video i try to do like a wrap up pretty pretty fast and just kind of tell you you know what's what my whole experience was i was pretty you know excited that oh let me go to nigeria's basi and just see i was really hoping my case wouldn't be like my friends or anything but at least my 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 passport is here and it didn't take six months so yeah we blaze god <laughs> the videos that we're not allowed to take <laughs>